So if you have a look at some of the data, um, a fully keto adapted athlete has the capacity to metabolize up to two grams of fat every minute. You know, that, that's quite a lot um, over the course of an hour. So, you know, 120 grams of fat metabolized in an hour. So there's a lot of replenishment of those ketone stores happening during that period of exercise. So there certainly is fluctuations in your beta hydroxybutyrate stores. And I absolutely concur with Doc, what Duron said uh, about, uh, you know, we, we don't necessarily know that 0.7 is any better or worse than 1.4. What it does prove is two things, that your blood glucose level is low because you only go down the ketone pathway when, you, when your body says, hey, I need glucose, so it starts to make its own glucose. So that's why there's no obligate need for carbohydrates, by the way, because if your body needs glucose, it'll make it. And in making it, it depletes that oxaloacetate, which is essential to drive the ketone pathway. And the other thing as well as proving that you've got low blood sugars, it's proving that you've got the capacity to metabolise fat. So does having a higher level or lower level demonstrate these more or less strongly? I'm not convinced. I don't, as Willem said, we don't fully understand the science. I've had a look at the literature and there's a lot of toing and froing, but I still think that there's some exciting research to come.